Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the S Ellipse node. So another quick one and another one that you're probably asking yourself, why am I teaching you this? But it's an important note and we are doing all the nodes. So it's another node I got to break down. So like I said, the S Ellipse node. So for us to see this, we need an S render. So we're going to bring in an S render node and input it into our media out. Now I'm going to search for S ellipse and bring in ellipse node. And pretty simple. You notice it's an ellipse node and it's pretty much got all the same controls as our other ellipse node we can use for masking other than we're missing some of that soft edge stuff on our shape node. So if ever you need some of this softness on your shapes, which you notice we don't have that here, we can always use one of these ellipse nodes as a mask. And your mask gets input on your render node. So we can go to our regular ellipse and we can soften the edge and we can change the border width. So we've got a softer edge. And if you look at our alpha, you can see this is our actual alpha. And uh, we're going to go ahead and change the color so you can see the difference. We go to our alpha, that's the alpha of our shape. So it's applying that little uh, gradient there. So that's the main difference between your regular ellipse and your shape ellipse. So let's go ahead and delete this. Now on your ellipse node itself, under controls, same as the other nodes, we can select whether it's solid or not. If we don't want it solid, we can change our border width and we can change our border length and we can adjust our position and we can offset in the X, the Y and the Z, which you're not going to see. And we can change the width, the height and the angle. And again, on our style, we can change our color, change it independently on the red, green, the blue. We can change our alpha. So if I go to my alpha, you can change our alpha level and we can change our opacity. And again, if you remember right, allow combining is if we're combining multiple shapes to uh, make sure our opacities and our colors are working how we want them, we check or uncheck this allow combining. So that is the S ellipse node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.